Smartphone competition has been a driving force in most of the cool technologies we take for granted today. GPS, NFC, virtual assistants, fingerprint readers, Bluetooth, 4G, and even the idea of a touchscreen really first took off in the world of smartphones. But not every new smartphone technology trend is a winner. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, I'm counting down five of the dumbest smartphone fads ranked by CNET senior editor Jessica Dolcourt. Starting things off at number five, kickstands. Now these made sense in theory. Why not give your arms a rest and just casually take in some Netflix? But in reality, there's rarely a surface conveniently perched in front of you when you want to kill time, and even then, either your headphones don't reach or the speakers aren't loud enough or the angle isn't right, or you just have a panic attack because you actually let go of your smartphone for five minutes. At number four, 3D anything. 3D cameras, 3D screens, 3D video, 3D games. Sane people don't make their phone buying decision based on which one can play Avatar. I'm willing to bet they almost sold an Evo 3D to Anthony Weiner until he realized that people still needed to wear those dorky glasses to see your pictures. Because seriously, if you can't tweet your junk in 3D, then what's the point? I also failed to see the point of number three, dual screens. The Samsung Continuum, the Kyocera Echo, the LG Double Play, Samsung Double Time. Around 2011, everybody was seeing double. They were on the right track. People did want bigger screens and better multitasking, but hinging two crappy screens together is not the same thing. Worse, you got double the screen smudge. It was like opening up a smudge sandwich. Ugh. Coming in at number two, Facebook phones. Here is a site that is loved by billions, and yet when you build a phone around it, people run for the hills. First, there was the HTC status with this dedicated Facebook button, then the HTC salsa, and then figuring that the third time's the charm, the HTC first. Now, you'd think that they would have at least tricked a couple people into buying this phone, considering that they released the HTC first around the same time as the HTC one, but no, Facebook can't even trick people into buying their phone. All right, and now the number one worst smartphone fad, miniature phones. And I mean the really small ones, not like the HTC One Mini, which is actually bigger than the iPhone. As the entire cell phone industry rushed to create phones with bigger and bigger screens, a few daring rebels decided to think different. Remember the Microsoft Kin One, the one that lasted eight weeks? Or the HP Veer, one of the last gasps of WebOS? I don't know if they were trying to market these things to prison inmates or toddlers, but either way, it didn't work. So there you go, five smartphone trends that crashed and burned. But there's more. For a bonus flop, head over to Jessica Dolcourt's full gallery, and for more top fives from me, top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.